It's Christmas time. Do you know what that means? Ask Jess Paul. Why does that mean, ask Jess Paul? I don't know. Cause it's the only present I can give you over the internet. Ah. Now I'm gonna answer all your questions from last time. Here we go. What's your favorite late night talk show host? It's totally Craig Ferguson. Woo! Woo! How many people watched your show? Are you guys gonna seriously make me count? I can't count. I was in the math van when I was little. Did you guys have to go in the math van? Do you know what the math van is? Like this trailer they put kids in for that don't know how to read. Or don't know how to do math. <laughs> well, I was in the reading van too. So, um, I should be like in the center of, for kids that don't know how to read good. Hey, Jess Paul, I love your video. I want to know why do you love Craig first and when it comes to how do you know? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because you went to my, you know, my front page that says I like Craig Ferguson. <laughs> I like him because it's not only that he that he's, you know, a comedian and he tells jokes, but his his personality is completely like exciting. He's always excited to do his show and he's always goofing around. I also want to know this. What time is your late night web show on? I don't have a I don't have a late night web show. I I'll tell you this. When I get 3,000 subscribers on Rec Radio. Then I will start blog TV. Then I'll do a late night web show. I'll do it before Craig comes on. If you could trade bodies with Chris Crocker, would you? <gasps> oh my god, no. This is the thing. He is incredibly beautiful. I love, I do love watching him. He can be really, really crazy sometimes. Like, he's kind of a psychopath. There was one video I watched of his called um, The Boy Girl Question, and I think he answered it amazingly. It was a beautiful answer. It was very sophisticated and got to the point. He made very good points. But I would not like to be in his body for this one reason. He is probably one of the most controversial people on YouTube. I, you know, revere him for having to um, deal with that all the time. He does have a lot of fans and a lot of followers and a lot of viewers, but he gets as many or more um, haters. So he's kind of amazing. What is your favorite cartoon TV show? I think, I think it is Family Guy. We do watch Family Guy quite a lot here. It's kind of genius for our generation. I hate South Park. It's like crude and there's no point. Whoa! Big question. Can't see over it. Okay. I'm gonna take these questions one at a time. One, what are your views on open relationships? Why is it called a relationship? That's my answer. What is the best thing about your life right now? It's kind of like a tie. It's like my family, who I love, and you guys, pretty much. And my roommate, Cassie. <laughs> so it's really hard to pick. I love like all three of those things in my life. And I wouldn't be able to live without either of them, especially Cassie. If someone made a movie about your life, what would it be called? Feathers and Syrup. The story of a girl kind of gone wild. For girl lost in the rain. Cause I'm so emo. What do you think would be a good name for a movie of mine? Psycho. <sighs> you know what? You would be you would be the co-star. So you'd be the co-star of Psycho. Oh wait, that was already a movie. <laughs> That's why I said it's already a movie. If you came with instructions, what would they say? Don't feed her after midnight. She'll turn to a gremlin. Bah! If I held out my hand, what would you put in it? My last piece of gum. No, I no. What are you known for by people that are close to you? Being on YouTube. You'd probably just say being a psycho. See, my personality translates so good to the internet because people like to watch crazy people. I'm just saying. If you had a nickel each time you did, said, or thought about one particular thing, what is that one thing that would have made you wealthy by now? If I got a nickel for every friggin' time bad romance got stuck in my head, I wouldn't... I would need a job, I would need college, I would be paid for for the rest of my life. Have you ever had a pet? What was it and what was its name? I have two currently. Uh, one is a dog. His name is Zippy. This is a picture of him. And one is a bird, her name is Suzy Q, and she bites me. And she doesn't even talk, but I have to love her because she's like my sister. Do you have any piercings or tattoos? If you don't, what would you want? Okay, 
I don't I don't have either actually. I sometimes put on a fake uh, ring right here and I think that looks pretty cool even though it's really annoying. The tattoo that I want and don't copy me. If you do, I'm gonna hunt you down. And uh, how would I find you? I don't know. I want my spine to be outlined in ink so that um, there's a there's a, an image of a spine on top of my actual spine. Mac or PC? Apple. Mac. Love. PCs can go set themselves on fire. Why do you like Demi Lovato? Now, now, have in mind, Demi Lovato is not Miley Cyrus. Demi Lovato might be associated with the whole Disney thing, but she is um, an incredibly good singer. You listen to her, and not only that, but um, she's a, such a sweet girl from what I've gathered, and I just love her, and I think she's adorable, and you should, uh, you should love her too. Uh. Okay, I love doing this, guys. So if you do have any other questions for me, if they haven't been answered already, then go ahead and send them. Just uh, comment them right below this video. Thanks for being part of this video. This is incredibly fun. New episode on Monday. Alternative Christmas special. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited. Peace, love, back and roll. Peace. One big mom, oh yeah, oh yeah. One big mom, oh yeah, oh yeah.